Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch Want, and thanks for logging on. Today, I'm joined by everyone's favorite Ample Aviator. This is the IWC Big Pilots Watch Perpetual Calendar Top Gun Reference 5029-02. Now, in 2012, IWC gave its Pilots Watch lineup a makeover, and one of the most exciting debuts was this watch, which I like to call the all-in-one IWC, combining the modern Big Pilots Watch 2002 to present with IWC's mid-80s to present perpetual calendar, their innovations in ceramic case technology, as well as their association with the U.S. Navy Fighter Weapons School, better known as Top Gun. And when I say this is the all-in-one IWC, consider how many unique IWC traditions it includes in a single 48 millimeter black ceramic and titanium package. So you have the IWC Top Gun Association and tradition. You have the Pilot's Watch dating back to the 1930s and the Big Pilot's Watch reborn in the 2000s. You have the famed Peloton Paul-based IWC winding system, a seven-day movement, one of the 50,000 uh, 50, series in-house IWC automatic calibers. You've got that perpetual calendar paired with a ceramic case, and IWC during the 1990s in the Pilot's Chronograph line actually pioneered the modern ceramic watch. So this watch combines so many different threads of IWC's history in a single package that it represents something of a watch collection all-in-one for the IWC enthusiast. Now I want to put the watch on the wrist and highlight the fit of the Big Pilot because the Big Pilot is big and the Big Pilot Perpetual Calendar is even bigger. These watches are 48 millimeters in diameter, and that's before you include quite large lugs. Now, unlike most large watches, the IWC Big Pilot Perpetual in ceramic does not pare down the lugs very much. While the case has a nice cushion profile to it, it actually sits lightly on the wrist because ceramic is lighter than steel, not quite as light as titanium, but close it still reads as an immense timepiece, and that's part of its heritage. The original Type 52 TSC, or the b -er, was designed to fit over a flight suit or an aviator's jacket, and it was over 50 millimeters in diameter. So, relatively speaking, this watch is smaller than its ancestral predecessor, but because IWC does a good job of shaping the case back, of keeping the mass of the watch well managed, of hiking the crown up on the case flank so it doesn't really come in contact with the skin. Ergonomically, it works on my wrist. Ultimately, only the user can decide whether or not the style is for him. If you have a wrist smaller than six inches, I'm gonna warn you, this probably won't work out. But if you're even marginally over six inches in circumference, 15 centimeters that is, this watch is definitely worth trying because the look is huge, but the feel on the wrist is quite reasonable. Now the watch is truly thick. I mean, 16 millimeters. It's not as thick as the steel Big Pilot split second, but it's still quite burly. However, because the bezel does curve inward and it's got a little bit of tumble home in it towards its upper lip, it might fit under a looser long sleeve. Definitely a loose sweater, definitely a suit jacket cuff. Whether it ultimately plays well with a French cuff or a conventional dress cuff is going to be touch and go, but heck, that's the nature of a Big Pilot. Now, the look of the watch is integral to the complication and mechanical fascination of the watch. Moving inboard, let's start with the ceramic case. IWC pioneered this technology in the 90s with the Pilot's chronograph watches, and at this point, it really takes all of the disadvantages of the first black watches, those PVD timepieces from companies like Panerai and Audemars Piguet, and it removes the liability. You don't have to worry about getting it getting scratched because the case and the bezel in ceramic are almost as hard as the sapphire crystal itself. Only diamond can reliably scratch them. If they do happen to get scuffed or chipped a little bit, it's a homogenous material, so it's black all the way through. It's not like the old PVD coated cases that would show gleaming metal through as soon as you scratched or scuffed them, which tended to be five minutes after you left the dealer. So you're good to go. This watch does have a different look to it than the conventional IWC Big Pilot. It's less B-17 and more B-2 Spirit. This is definitely a big stealth bomber, but it has a coherence to it because it's got a monotone so it runs from the strap, which is black, to the lugs, which are black, to the case and the bezel, black, to the dial, also black. So although it is dramatic and different from the other pilot's watches, it's also all of a piece. It feels like it was designed by a single inspired artist and not by a committee. 
just because it is so cohesive thematically and aesthetically. And the dial references the best of IWC's past, while also including the best of its present. Now you can see the instrument style calibrations. Those date back to the original B Ur, that first giant big pilot's watch designed to resemble an analog aviation instrument that you might see on the flight deck of an airplane. It makes legibility a breeze. Now the watch is loomed on these broadsword style hands as well as at the four corners. So at night it's easy to tell what time it is. So the utility aspect of the design holds up. And once you get used to looking at the watch, you can quickly tell what time it is just by looking at the position of the hands. All the other indications give you a range of complication and information that is unprecedented and unrivaled except by the most abstruse quartz pilot's watches. You have a perpetual calendar that includes not just the day, the date, and the month, but also the year, the decade, and the century. You get a double moon phase, so you have the moon phase in the northern and the southern hemispheres. You get a power reserve that shows you the entire progression of the seven-day power reserve of this IWC in-house caliber 51614 from full to empty. There's a lot going on here, but it is legible. As a watch, because of the broadsword hands and the contrast with the black base, you can always tell the time at a glance. And if you need more information from the constant seconds here at three o'clock to the power, or at nine o'clock, I should say, to the power reserve here at nine o'clock, it's all logically laid out and it has a beautifully balanced symmetry to it vertical, bilateral, in all aspects, it's a nicely balanced watch with complication balancing complication and for every subdial an opposing subdial. So despite the fact that there's a lot going on here, because it is so monotone, so sleek, so black, so Vader-esque, it's nicely balanced and the complications even fade into the background until you want to see them. From arm's length, it reads as a big pilot's watch, period. Now the case back pays tribute to the United States Navy Fighter Weapons School. I'm not going to lie, I would have liked to have seen the movement, but the fact is, with 6 ATM water resistant, this has far more water resistance than a conventional aviator's watch. The screw down crown and the screwed in case back are a big reason for that, so I'm not going to complain too loudly. Now the logo, some have asked, is this the true US Navy logo for the program? No, this is actually inspired by the movie poster from the, top, the Tom Cruise film. So that's where the artwork comes from, and for the sake of artistic embellishment, as a former Navy man, I'm more than comfortable letting Hollywood take the lead on that. I think they have the edge for engaging graphics. And the bottom line is this watch really does offer a lot of technical interest if you are into aviation, if you are into automobiles, high-end watchmaking, all those things tend to go together. And the IWC in-house caliber 51614 that I mentioned earlier when discussing the power reserve packs all of the toys as well as IWC's best engineering traditions. Now, since 2000, the 50,000 series calibers have been IWC's biggest in-house automatic calibers, the world's largest automatic calibers to this day. They combine the highly efficient Paul-based Peloton winding system with lubrication-free, ultra-efficient ceramic winding rotor bearings. What makes the 51614 different as the latest generation of the 50,000 is that the actual Pauls of the Peloton system have been redesigned and created in ceramic. So not only are the rotor bearings themselves maintenance-free, high-efficient, virtually sealed for life, but now so are the Peloton winding system's Pauls. Previously, one of the only high wear portions of that famously efficient system now rectified with modern technology, just like the case, just like the bearings. The watch also features the Kurt Claus Perpetual Calendar. Now, it's been refined a couple of times since its debut in the 1980s, but it remains an exemplar of the type. From the crown, you can set all the indications. Simply advance it as easily as you would a quick set date Rolex. You just cycle through the days, and the day of the week, the month, even the years advance, and of course the moon phases, advance in coordinated sequence. It is not possible for these subdials and their different calendar indications to become out of phase or out of sync. The watch does the computation for you. You just set the date, one position with the crown. It's that easy. And it is the most user-friendly perpetual calendar system on the market to this day. Now, the power reserve is seven days. That's formidable. But the watch has a hidden secret day of power reserve. That is, the movement actually holds eight days of power. IWC found that it would keep 
good time for seven days. So what they do is they program the movement to lock out that last day so it won't start keeping inaccurate time while still running. What it does allow you to do, though, is immediately start the balance when you pick the watch up after it's run down. Having that extra day of power reserve means the balance is always on the precipice of starting again as soon as the rotor starts to turn. So unlike a lot of automatic calibers, if you do somehow manage to run through seven days of power reserve without wearing the watch, this one will start right back up and allow you to reset the calendar immediately. Free sprung escapement, very tough. Breguet over coil hairspring, it's thermally resistant. Put the watch on its side, on its side with the crown down, dial up, dial down, very positionally resistant to timing deviation too. This is everything IWC knows in a single watch, which is why I like to call this IWC Big Pilot's Watch Perpetual Calendar Top Gun, 48 millimeters in ceramic, the IWC Watch Collection. It's all here, folks, and you can see it on our website, Watch You Want.